Hey folks, Prepper Princess. It is morning, early morning as I film this, but I recently went over my bills and I was somewhat astonished and surprised to find out that I do actually live in poverty, uh, luxurious poverty. And I'm gonna go ahead and take you on a little bit of a tour and show you what it is like. But um, I do want to, before, before I start, I do, I had to write all this down. And I had to, first of all, let me advise you that everyone is different. Everyone's situation is different. I do not have children. I do not have a spouse or significant other that I am financially responsible for. Um, and I do not have any debt, including my mortgage. Uh, this house was paid for in cash, sight unseen, no inspections. And I do not regret one single moment of it. It is greatly, greatly undervalued uh, based on the area and location that I live. It was purchased for 67000 And with the improvements, that, and I put 20000 into it, uh, which was plumbing work and mini split AC and heating units, as well as a new kitchen. But um, I could probably sell it tomorrow for 115 to 125 I purchased it before the recent housing bubble. I do not take advantage of any sort of social services. I do not have Medicare, Medi-Cal, Medicaid, Social Security, Disability, Welfare, food stamps. I do not use food banks or any low income discounts. I also am in perfect health. I do not buy drugs, alcohol, cigarettes or vaping products, medications and prescriptions, vitamins or supplements. I no longer purchase clothing, entertainment, dining and restaurants, bistro coffee such as Starbucks or Tim Hortons toilet paper, paper towels, or feminine hygiene products. So we will go ahead and go over what I do have and what I am extremely proud to show you. Here we go. All right, folks, so first and foremost, I want to go over my bills. Um, I recently put a post in the community board of my YouTube and I actually, those were pretty much rough estimates of what I spend and a lot of them are quite a bit less than I had originally anticipated. So property taxes, 3613, I just got my bill, I believe it was 433.68 for the year. Property insurance is only 300 a year, I think it's actually 258, um, but I just put it as 25 just to be insured. Uh, my electric bill this month was $80, but I'm rounding up. My water bill was $28, rounding up. Internet is $71. I recently got rid of my Sling TV and have Netflix. And then my garbage bill is $20. Cell phone, I got, brought it from $45 down to $30. And I had forgotten or neglected to put in the sewer, which is $35 a month, and it is required by the city as well as garbage. My medical is $217 a month. Um, my car insurance in the state of Arizona is extremely expensive. I have liability only with AAA and I have two vehicles. The registration is crazy cheap here. I paid for my Camry, I paid 107 for five years of registration and my Corolla was just so cheap and I think I did a two or three year on that one. And I hardly spend anything in gas because I usually walk everywhere. My food is $100, which includes food for my dog, and I donate $150. So my totals are $889.23 a month or $10,670.76 a year. The national poverty level is $12,760 for a single person or less. Now, please keep in mind, I do make more than the poverty level. Um, I make significantly more and I am a super saver. So I save uh, about two thirds of my income. I'm currently working on getting an investment property for additional passive income. So let's get going. All right, folks, so first and foremost, um, I have a 2015 Toyota Corolla and recent purchase, they're, they're both paid off in full, by the way. Uh, this one has 60,000 miles and I just recently purchased, if you all remember, my 1998 Toyota Camry. Well, I kind of got it back. <laughs> this one has 77,000 miles on it and I paid 4,000 bucks for it. It's in pristine condition. I'm not going to show you the engine right now. And for those of you who are about to say, oh my God, you showed your license plate. Well, this isn't the real license plate because they gave me, they are sending me a new one. And this, if you look them up, you're gonna find the old owner, not me, so I don't care. So being poor means that you can help 
charity. I don't own a cat, but weekly or bi-weekly, I will bring 15 or 20 bags of cat food and donate it to a local organization that helps uh, people who, have a, who are low income feed their pets. So I'm gonna be dropping this off today. Again, I don't have any cats. And I keep everything I own, and I mean everything, in absolutely pristine condition. Hold on a second. I had to turn over my new license plate. <laughs> but as you can see, it's always vacuumed and dusted and uh, the windows are always washed and the leather is always polished. And in my Camry, the I've only had it a week, but the Camry, I keep the cloth in absolutely pristine condition because I think that a lot of people aren't happy with the things that they own because they don't take care of them. They just don't. Let's take a look in here. Oop. Did that backwards. Absolutely pristine condition. Perfect, perfect condition. I missed my Camry. Welcome back. I think I'm going to name it Corona because it's the color of Corona and I got it during the coronavirus lockdown. Aha, aha, I'm sorry. <clears throat> all right, moving on into the house. First of all, I do have plants. I've got a fig tree, strawberry guava, and I can't remember the cactus, Peruvian cactus. I've got this guy who's barely holding on, but he is a date palm and pomegranate. Pomegranate is doing amazing. Living on a low income still allows you to keep a friend with you who is devoted and loyal and your protector. And very, he is just spoiled rotten. He gets peanut butter balls. Oh, <laughs> he gets walks. He gets the best food and he gets a lot of cuddles and love. So just showing you my living room, um, most of the stuff that I own was either purchased on sale, like a huge sale, was given to me or inherited. So the console and the couch were gifts. I just recently purchased this storage ottoman and I've got blankets inside. so. It comes up so in case anybody wants to uh, sleep over and the guest room is full there's still plenty of room out here I purchased the TV it was a refurbished TV that I got for I think 150 bucks and I think it's like a 50 inch it's pretty it's pretty hefty um, the dog bed was a gift and I do cheap artwork, but, but tasteful artwork. This is just a poster put into a nice frame. I do live in the desert, so I like keeping things looking like there's a lot of greenery around. Um, I also have blackout curtains to help save on the energy costs. And um, in a bedroom, you know, it's just about taking pride in ownership, making your bed every day, uh, keeping the windows clean, uh, dusting every day. Now, the chair in the corner was inherited by my grandmother. This dresser was my great grandmother's, then my grandmother's, then my mother's, and now it's mine. And I do use solar everywhere I go, as well as battery powered lights that recharge via solar. <clears throat> Excuse me, solar. Um, this is connected to the lamp and the two fans. And I'll also connect my cell phone for charging in here at night. Moving on over to the bathroom. The bathroom is just a bathroom. That's all it is. Um, the rug was given to me by my grandma. The vanity was my, I had a contractor and we had some plumbing issues that I had to fix. And the floor did not look like this. They had to go through all the piping under the house and it was, it's cement underneath. And this is just cheap peel and stick tile. I think I got a box for like 20 bucks. And that's what the floor is. And the vanity was on clearance because it had a scratch on the back and I don't care about scratches on the back. So uh, I took that, <clears throat> I think it was $150 and it was discounted to 50% off. So it was like 75 bucks. I also have a bidet. Of course I keep toilet paper here in case a guest is not accustomed to using a bidet. It is not battery powered. It is simply done through weight of the water in the tank. 
So, and Rocky uses the toilets as bowls. So I make sure he will not drink. He will not drink out of a normal dog bowl. I don't know what his deal is. So I make sure to uh, keep it very, very clean. And moving on over to this thing. So I find a lot of things on my walks. This Hawaiian Tropic and the Ultra Sport were actually found on walks, uh, which I use regularly. They smell really coconutty and good. Well, this one does, this one doesn't, but whatever. And people send me bars of soap all the time. And then it's funny how they ask me, you know, how was that bar of soap I sent you? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have like 86 bars to go through before I get to yours, but I promise I will. And uh, this is also full of soap. This is soap. And one of my favorite companies is the Hero Soap Company. They actually give a portion of their proceeds to vets. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. And then, you know, standard, standard stuff. Uh, when it comes to <clears throat> soap, I just use the cheap stuff. VO5, Dr. Teal's, um, and a shower cap, of course. Uh, to save on water so you don't have to wash your hair every day and it's actually not good for you to wash your hair every day but uh, it also saves time in the shower when you're not washing your hair uh, that's where I do all of my YouTube stuff the laptop that I have was also a refurbished unit I think I got it for like hundred and ten dollars and that was a good four years ago that was quite a quite a long time ago look out mister let me close the door look out Get up, you want a cookie? We'll get you a cookie, hold on. Folks, I had to uh, trick my dog so that he would get out of the way. But um, yeah, so what I've got over here, this is the kitchen that I remodeled. It was very ugly beforehand. And I knew that coming into this purchase that it needed to be totally redone. And um, one of the things I have is an alternative cooking method, which is just a camp stove on top of a cutting board that came with the house. A lot of people ask me about this. Uh, this is not permanent, but I am waiting to have the microwave installed and I cannot find a contractor to help me uh, for the life of me. And it's also an unfinished project is the fireplace. I recently spoke to somebody uh, from Craigslist and he said that he would do it, but he's now not responding back to me. He's flaking. So that's another thing that <laughs> I just have to work on. Um, coffee. So coffee is my thing. I have everything. I've got regular coffee. I've got latte, espresso, cappuccino. I've got iced coffee. Um, I've got sugar, monk fruit, sweet and low, Splenda. I've got regular, uh, regular creamer. I've got whipped cream. I've got chocolate sprinkles, cinnamon sprinkles. I've got rainbow sprinkles. I've got milk, um, soy milk. I've got rice milk and oat milk. I've got Half calf, decaf, full calf, you name it, I can make it because I do not go to Starbucks. I also, uh, being poor means purchasing food on a discount and sticking it in the freezer. This is about half price, it's a chicken. And then I keep the giblets and gizzards and I freeze them and I use them for bait. So those are gonna go in there. And next time I go fishing, that will be my bait. This is the guest room. Let me turn on my solar over here. There we go. So this is the guest room. It runs pretty much strictly on solar. The, the TV stand was a gift as was the bed, which is a beautiful king size bed. The linens I actually purchased, or I didn't purchase, I won in a raffle. Um, the nightstands and lamps, were not really my cup of tea, but along with the painting, but I needed them to showcase my old house in the Bay Area uh, before I sold it. The mirrors are just cheap Walmart mirrors. And when I showcased my old house, I had to purchase a set of chairs per my real estate agent, and I got four. And these are the extras. And this is just a standard black plastic table that believe it or not was a temporary table when I first moved out on my own. <laughs> it was my grandmother's. The TV is, this one's also a refurbished TV. And I believe this one was like $120, maybe. Maybe, it might be even less. The kitchen table is my first kitchen table that I bought when I first moved out on my own from Ikea of all places for $50. I spray painted it black. It was not black at first. It was that fake lacquer color with white legs and I didn't like it. So I painted it. Also, 
all of the walls in this house are oops paint. And you can actually tell over here in the corner where there is a slight color change because I, I can see why it was oops paint because they did not match. The refrigerator that I have is a standard 11 cubic foot and I actually wanna go smaller. It's an apartment size fridge and this is a two bed, two bath house. So most people would go with a 14 cubic foot fridge and I do have the space for it. That was what was intended with the design, but I just have so much space in there and Halloween is coming up. This is gonna be posted after Halloween, but that's what all that candy is. It's for the kitties, not kitties, you know, kids who hopefully will come trick or treating. Um, and I also always keep, that's not my beer. I always keep water on hand. And it actually, there's a beer in here that I found at Takati. I don't drink beer. I don't drink at all. But I have friends and my brother drinks beer whenever he visits. So at least that'll be here for him. And I always have cold water on hand. Uh, I also use a filter so I don't have to purchase bottled water. So that is a Berkey filter makes the water taste amazing here. Moving on out. So um, there's another bathroom in here. This is actually a free, three foot garden tub and it's just, it's ginormous. Uh, what I do in here is I turn on this little light and then I light the candles and I have a little wall light right here. I turn off the lights and I have a nice little ambiance bath whenever the mood, the mood suits me. <clears throat> and then this is my upcoming hydroponic system that I put together. I have to get, I can't, I don't have a bucket that fits under there yet. Uh, so I have to take some measurements. This is just the laundry room. But this paint, this black paint is oops paint. I don't know how black paint can be a mistake, but it was. And then I have alternative form of cooking out here. So this is my solar oven and I'm cooking that chicken and it's, it's going. My next project is going to be to take my solar panels. There's four there and there's one on the other side of this fence and put them on the roof uh, because they're not as efficient as they can be. But still, I still power my entire living room. So as you can see, you just follow this little cord and then it goes over here and I've got it hidden in this, this thing. And then it goes over back here into a three pong where it goes onto a power cord here, off, on, and that turns on my lamp and my computer. And then you keep following the cord and it powers my entire TV. You have to take advantage and use every resource you have available. Another thing that I use is the Roku box and a lot of, there are a lot of tons of apps on there, but right now on Amazon Prime, and I am not an Amazon Prime member, right now, if you look right there, it's the entire series of Little House on the Prairie, which is free, uh, even if you're not an Amazon Prime member. Uh, all you have to do is put up with the ads, which are commercials, and there's really, it's a lot less than it is on standard TV. You got 10 Cloverfield Lame, The Hunger Games, Army of Darkness, and it's all free right now. Um, I'm trying to find, see right here, it says popular movies and TV free with ads. So, if, so on Amazon Prime, you have free options. And then when you go to the home page, I have Netflix, which costs $8.95. I do the standard def. With standard def, um, one, you only have the option of having Netflix on in one room. However, uh, all movies broadcast in HD and all movies are created in HD. So since switching from high def to standard def, I have seen no difference in the quality of picture. Um, you've got the Roku channel, um, you've got Vudu, NFL channel, YouTube, Crackle, the CW, YouTube TV, FilmRise, Pluto TV. The list goes on and on. And anytime you go into any one of these apps, you can just go ahead and take your pick. This one happens to be Tubi. You go in there and people say, is it really that better than over the air, the antenna? Watch this. Boom, you've got 
thousands and thousands of movies right there. And that's not just with one channel, folks. That, that, that is just one channel. And then you go back and you pick a different channel. So that was just from Tubi. You go back and pick a different one. So here's, uh, I don't know, uh, here's Fox News, Fox News Channel. And then you go onto the channel and it's got tons of stuff. Just takes a second. There you go, Fox News Channel. Isn't that a fancy background right there? There you go, full episodes of all of the news. And then you've got Fox News Go, which is live. And then you've got all that election stuff going on and the news and everything else. And it's not just one thing. Everything has, every single channel on here has thousands and thousands of movies. This one's Film Rise. And then you just wait for it to upload real quick. And then look, thousands and thousands and thousands. It's not just one, it's not just, this is over, this, this is over the air on crack is what it is. Uh, so much, so much that you can watch. And that's just with a $25 Roku box and an internet connection. And everyone has an inter internet connection anyway. Or living, quote unquote, in poverty. I don't consider this poverty. This is just, this is crazy. But uh, artwork, I get all of my artwork at thrift stores. And yes, folks, all of my clothes, almost all of my clothes are from thrift stores. It may look like I have a ton. There's maybe $30 worth of clothes in there because everything I have is from the thrift store. So whenever I make videos like this, people assume several things. They assume that I don't have a job, and I do. They assume that I'm on some sort of public assistance, and I'm not. They assume that I have a horrible, miserable life where I just uh, sit at home and do nothing. Well, no. I live in Arizona, which is the most outdoor crazy fun stuff to do, uh, in my opinion, pretty much anywhere. So I can go rock climbing, boulder, boulder jumping, running, jogging, walking, hiking. Uh, I live right on the Colorado River. I can go inner tubing, swimming. I can go uh, search the beaches and do foraging and scavenging. I have a metal detector. I can go metal detecting. I have magnet hooks where I can go magnet fishing. There is so much to do for free out there. Uh, frisbees, hacky sacks, uh, beanbag toss. There's so many things that you can do for free. I don't understand how people find, they think that the only way to have fun is by spending money. So I'm just trying to show people an alternative way. And this is the way that I do it. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. One other thing before I sign off folks, I would just like to remember you, remind you that people who are in poverty right now live better than the richest kings of our previous generation. You should always be grateful for what you have, even if it is only a little by society's standards. Feel abundant in everything that you have and give when you can give and take when you need it. That's all.